Hey everyone, welcome back to Ken's Card Corner. Today I have a 25 card uh, PSA order reveal. These are all from the collector's special, the um, quarterly special where it's 1964 and before. Pre 64s, so everything in here is before 1964. Um, it got there in January and I got it back. Uh, I don't know when I'm post this, but got it uh, about the beginning of March. So it took about two months, which is actually pretty quick for how PSA is going right now. I think if you should, I think, I almost think they have different graders that they, that grade the older stuff compared to the new stuff. So, but uh, let's get started. Uh, the first, like, ten cards are cards that I'm going to keep and the rest will probably be for, will be for sale. So, uh, first up, this T218 Champions Percy Seelan. Uh, athlete and a very good excellent four i love these tobacco cards i think they're really cool so that was cool got this in a lot with the next two cards as well from a guy off uh, facebook so i'm glad they're real i sent in this n9 allen ginter argentina republic flags of all nations came back a poor one with a mark which is fine with me because it's got like a stamp on it which i think is kind of cool and it also says Richmond, Virginia. So that's only uh, about an hour away from me. So been there many a times. Next up, I have a T68 Heroes of History Count von Maltzik. Maltke. And a Fair 1.5. I thought that was pretty cool. Little cigars. Some of these, I was just trying to get the 25 cards. Uh, some of them I actually wanted to get graded, and some, you know, like I said, just needed to get to 25 cards. So this is also cards I'm going to keep. 51 Bowman Cast Michaels and a very good excellent four for the Senators. This next one was probably, in my opinion, the surprise of the order for me, at least. Uh, I didn't think it would come back this high, but it is a 52 Bowman early win. And a very good excellent four. Hall of Famer. I figured that corner, that crease would destroy it. But I guess not. I guess they, uh, the older cards are graded differently. So, so that was a cool one. I got a couple more that I'm going to keep. 55 Bowman Irv Palika. Palaka. This is the one with the no trade line. Very good excellent four. Not sure if this is the harder version to get or not, but it was a BGS graded, but I busted it out of the BGS, so. I think I bought a lot of, of uh, 50 Bowmans at one point. And then this is the last of the cards I'm going to keep. George Kell, 56 tops, uh, Hall of Famer, uh, excellent five. Pretty stoked about that, considering uh, I bought it in a lot with some other cards. So, always cool to have a Hall of Famer from the 50s, you know, in a 4 or 5 or 6 even. So, that is it for the ones I'm keeping. The rest will most will be for sale when I get to list them, when I get around to it. Uh, first up, I have 51 Bowman Andy Pafko and a good 2 for the Cubs. I have a 51 Bowman Bobby Brown and a good 2 for the Yankees. I like the old Bowman. I've been into him for a little while now. I have a Johnny Vandermeer and a 1.5 from 51 Bowman. I always thought he was a Hall of Famer, but I guess not. I think he was just really good, I guess. Well, good enough. <laughs> I have a 52 Bowman Gene Hermansky and a good two for the Cubs. A 52 Bowman, Bucky Harris, and a, a very good three. He's a Hall of Famer. Uh, if you watched my last video, pickup video, you'd seen that I got this in a six. So, this one will definitely be for sale. So glad to have that. Well, I'm not glad with the grade, but still pretty cool. Uh, next up, 52 Bowman, Bob Friend, and a very good, excellent three. Or very good three, I don't know why I said excellent. Very good three from uh, was it 52 Bowman. 
I had got this at um, what was it called? At a card show. Fifty-two Burke Ross Joe Ostrowski, 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 something like that. Very good three. Next up, we have Pedro Ramos or Ramos with a white back. Very good three. 56 tops. I didn't even realize this guy was a Washington National, so I'll be keeping that. Doe. See, Bill Taylor. Very good, excellent four for the Giants. 55 tops. Like, I don't even know where I got some of these 50s cards. I think I bought them from the guy I buy it off of uh, eBay from. I buy always buy stuff from him. See, so Wally Westlake. Very good. Three. 55 tops. It's a cool looking picture. See, 55 tops. Ross. Russ. What's his name? Kimmerer? Kimmer? Kimmerer? Kimmerer? <laughs> and a very good, excellent four for their socks. Got some 55 Bowman. I have Eddie Minkus and a very good excellent four. The Cubs. Let's see. Jim Hearn. Very good excellent four for the Giants. When they're in New York. Yeah, it's in New York. Alright, so that is it for baseball. Got some football. Like I said, some are fillers. <laughs> Like this one and the next one. It's a 56 tops Tobin Root. He's a quarterback of the Green Bay Packers. It's a fair 1.5. See, next up we have a Jim Finks. 55 Bowman. And a 1.5 for the Steelers. Oh, that's what the back that one looks like, as you can see. Then this 55 tops All American Hugh Gulliner. I don't even know from Stanford. Halfback. It came back at a good two. And then kind of the two surprises of the order. I figure they are good, but I didn't think they were this kind of good. I have a Roman Gabriel, 63 tops, and it came back at near mid seven. I paid like a dollar for this card at the card show. So cool that, that came back that high. And the last card, I have Gene Lipscomb from 61 Tops. Came back in near mint, eight off centered. So basically a six. So nice, nice random cards. Nice grades. Pretty happy with it, and the time was good. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and uh, follow me on Instagram, Ken's Card Corner. Have a good day.